everyone. So today we will be learning how to multiply and divide fractions. So in multiplying and dividing fractions, there are certain conditions that dapat alam nyo. So if A, B, C, and D are integers where B and D are not equal to zero, then A over B times C over D equals A times C over B times D. Or in other words, if you're going to look at clearly po, in multiplying fraction, all you need to do is to multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator po. Yan lang po kadali. Then sa division naman, if A, B, C, and D are integers where B, C, and D are not equal to 0, then A over B divided by C over D equals A times D over B times C. So as you can see po, Kung ito yung dividend mo, ito yung divisor mo. Sa divisor, may mutual exchange na nangyari between C and D or alternating motion po. Ang tawag niyan, reciprocal or exchanging the numerator and the denominator po. From division, after getting the reciprocal, proceed to multiplication. Yan lang po ang um, dividing fraction po. Again, division, then proceed to multiplication. Observe the sign po, then Reciprocal ng divisor, ha? So, we have these following examples in multiplying fractions po. Again, in multiplying, numerator times numerator, then denominator times denominator. Yan lang po kadali. So, 1 times 2 is 2, then 3 times 5 is 15. So, this would be your final answer. Kasi, hindi na po siya masisimplify kasi wala namang common factor nila except 1. So, this would be your final answer. How about number 2? 5 times 4 is 20. Then, 6 times 8 is 48. So, obvious naman. By the way, pag um, puro even yung numerator and denominator, automatic, masisimplify mo po yan, ha? All the time, basta puro even. Yung numerator, tapos denominator po. So, ano ang common factor nila? ba 4? So, this GCF or common factor will be will divide both numerators and denominators. So, your answer is 5 over 12. So, ito yung answer natin. Then, my easy technique nito before multiplying these two fractions po, pwede mo siyang simplify ang 6 and 4. Basta may mga common factor nila. So, between 6 and 4, ano ba ang common factor? Uh, 6 and 4. Diba 2? So, ito, ang 2, i-divide sa dalawang numbers na may common. So, 4 divided by 2, so, 2 na makakancel, 2 din. Same sa process rin, 6 divided by 2, so magiging 3. Ito, 5 and 8, wala namang common factor nila, so standby lang sila. So, proceed to multiplication, 5 times 2. Let us check ha, kung 5 over 12 bang result. 5 times 2 is 10. Then, 3 times 8 is 24. So, anong common factor ng 10 and 24? So, 2, right? So, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Then, 24 divided by 2 is 12. Same lang po sila. Then, hindi pwede po ha. Um, common error. Pag given, assuming meron tayong given 5 over 6 times, uh, 1 over 4. Sir, pwede ba natin makancel ito, sir? May common, ba, may common kasi silang 2. Kaya dito magiging 3. Then, ito magiging 2. Hindi po pwede nga magcancel kasi lahat, silang dalawa nasa denominator. This will only be applicable pag ang isa nasa numerator o ang isa nasa denominator. Dapat ha, hindi po pwede ito. This is a wrong process po. How about number 3? You may multiply directly po. 6 over 24. Or anong common um, factor nila? 6 naman, di ba? Obviously. So, 6 divided by 6 is 1. Then, 24 divided by 6 is Four. So, this would be your answer. The number 3, obviously, may mga cancel ka. Same sa process sa number 2. So, 3 and 6. Anong common factor ng 3 and 6? So, common number nila. ba 3? So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So, how about 2 and 4? Pwede ka mga cancel, right? So, anong common factor nila? ba 2? So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, 1 times 1, 1, 2 times 2, 4. So, same lang po. Sa division of fractions naman, may tinatawag tayong dividend tapos divisor. So, ang gagawin mo lang, just copy directly the dividend, which is 2 over 5. Then, proceed to multiplication. 
and get the reciprocal of your divisor which is 7 over 6 or mutual exchange numerator to denominator kabalik tara lang po then multiply mo na numerator times numerator denominator times denominator so we have 14 over 30 as our answer po then obvious naman basta parehas even ang numerator and denominator masisimplify mo pa so ano ang common factor nila so 2 di ba so your answer is 14 divided by 2 is 7 30 divided by 2 is 15 so this would be your answer then my easy technique po nito without um, writing this anymore kahit hindi mo na ito kailangan isulat ang easy technique nito try to observe this uh, number is inclining to the left po 2 and 7 will be your numerator sa answer mo i-multiply mo lang parang cross multiplication ang mangyayari so 2 times 7 is 14 then 5 times 6 inclining to the right or rising to the right po will be your um, denominator answer is a denominator po again 2 times 7 numerator inclining to the left then 5 times 6 30 then simplify your answer so, 7 over 15 yung answer mo. So, then, number 2. Um, multiple, uh, copy, 3 over 8. Positive multiplication. Then, reciprocal ng divisor mo. Then, your answer is 15 over 32. So, hindi mo na ito masisimplify, di ba? Kasi wala namang common factor. So, same sa easy technique po. Without having the solution. Um, 5 times 3, uh, 15. Uh, 4 times 8, 32. Ha? Inclining to the left, numerator. Inclining to the right, denominator po. Number 3, so 1 times, uh, copy 1 half, positive multiplication, then reciprocal ng 1 over 4, which is 4 over 1 or 4, equals to 4 over 2, your answer mo, or 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So this would be your answer. Or if you may check, uh, 1 times 4, uh, 4, then 2 times 1, so 2, so or equals to 2. Same lang po, ito yung mga answer nila. So that's it po, thank you so much for your time, thank you so much for watching. Keep aiming high and keep learning po.